I have Mocha Girl 3 with me here and I'm about to try something I've been wanting to try for a long time. One of my subscribers, Girl Love Your Curls, does really great videos that I really enjoy watching. She's really funny too. I love her skits that she does. Um, but she did a really excellent video on um, what she called Ghana, Ghana braids, Ghana plaits. And what it is, is it's African hair threading. And in the past, when I've seen the African hair threading, I've kind of seen the different sections of hair like wound really tightly with the thread and maybe standing away from the scalp in, in all directions. And, but the, she did hers a little bit differently. In fact, the, she loosely, she, the, she didn't wind the thread tightly um, down the length of the braid and, and she, she only, you know, she left a lot of space between the, 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 she didn't do as many rotations. So there was space between the, between the thread and from a distance to me, it almost looked like the hair could have been even two strand twisted. And so I said, I wanted to try it for Mocha Girl 3 because you know, I always talk about how fuzzy her hair is. And I thought this would work really well and be really quick. But what you see here is she, her hair was in two braids. We've, we've been swimming and we haven't gone out for the past couple of days. And so I really haven't done anything different to her hair. So it's gotten a little tangled, not really matted, but just a little tangled and fuzzy. How's that? So my goal is to try the 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 um the Ghana braids and um fashion them in a way that I can gather the length into a ponytail so this is my first time trying this so I thought it might be kind of fun to to see me you know make, make mistakes or whatever trying to figure out how to do this so I've um, detangled both sides of her hair and I put this side back in a braid so that it wouldn't tangle back up again. And this is just some regular olive oil, not organic or anything, just regular olive oil. And I'm just putting a little bit on her damp hair. Her hair is very fine. And so when, if your child has really fine hair like, like, like Mocha Girl 3, you don't want to put too much product on her hair because all it'll do is it'll get oversaturated with the product and to me the hair doesn't perform its best so just a little bit I would say even a dime size amount throughout the key is for the hair to be damp first okay and so if you want to learn more about that go go on my blog churchmydaughter.com and look under making oils work for nappy hair. Okay. Now I, I initially was going to try to do this for one ponytail, but I'm gonna try to see if I could make it work for two. So I think the parting is probably something I need to pay attention to. So I'm going to make my first part kind of like a triangle. One of these metal tip. I've had my girls say that it hurts if I, you scrape it across their scalp too harshly. Is that okay? Does that hurt? See? You have to be really light-handed with it. How's that? Good. Okay. And then I just take one of these um, clip things and move the hair I'm not working with out of the way. All right, now this is the part that I wasn't quite sure about when I watched the tutorial videos. I wasn't quite sure how much thread. This is the same type of thread you would use to um, put it, sew in a hair weave. Like, uh, so I, I don't know how much to, to use. So I'll take much more than I probably need the first time. And then I guess after that, I'll figure out how much to use. Okay. 
It's pretty thick. It's much thicker than regular thread. So what I saw her do, she gathered it kind of like a ponytail, and then she wound the tip around a few times. Her hair is slippery from the oil. So that's one, that's one time. Two times. The hair is slippery from the oil. Slick, I should say. I'm trying to catch the, the end so that it doesn't come back undone. You should watch her video. She makes it look so easy. I guess it's not hard, but when it's the first time that you're doing something. All right. All right, I think it's good. It's secure now. And I made sure I didn't do it too tight. See, there's a lot of slack at the base. She also mentioned something about that. So I, I guess the goal at this point is to wind the thread down the length of her hair. So I'm going to try to do that. And that was the end of the thread, so I'm going to try to gather that. Okay. <laughs> See how slow I am? <laughs> Girls Love Your Curls had this light. She, she wound it around down the length of the braid so fast. Okay, it's almost like I could treat this like a strand and the thread like a strand and I could do it a little faster. I think I got it. Hey, oh. <laughs> I got it now. All right. I like excess thread hanging, so I'm going to leave a little excess. One, and maybe I did the base a little too loose, I, I think. But we'll see how it ends up when, when we're done. I noticed that when, when you get down to the end, you're supposed to make a knot. I'm, since her hair is really fine, I think the ends are going to be really fine. I don't think I'm going to go all the way down to the end. And so, I'll use my finger to make a loop and I think one knot is probably enough. Definitely don't want it to be a problem when it's time to take this out. And as you can see this was way too much thread. Alright so I've managed to do most of this side of her head. One thing I'm struggling with is um, making it tight enough at the root but not too tight. When I feel like I get it snug enough, she complains that it's too tight. And um, but usually I'm, I, 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 it ends up being too loose. So I think practice will probably help me to do a better job with that. So what I was saying before about the African braiding I've seen before, I've seen them do it like more closely like this, which probably would take much longer, where you just really get the thread up right next to each other until the whole thing is really covered with like a tube of thread. But the way Girls Love Your Curls did it, it was much looser like this. And so the braid ends up being pretty pliable. Whereas the other way, the braids would be more stiff and they'd, they'd stand up more. So I guess it's a matter of aesthetic preference. Another thing I ran into, another problem I ran into was not making the string long enough 
and then getting to the end of the braid and not having enough string to finish it off like for example this braid <laughs> I needed more string you can see how loose the bases are it's probably healthier for her hair but um I don't know I'll get there so my my thought was to gather this into like into maybe like two ponytails she generally likes to wear her hair down so I'll I'll braid it finished product. I decided to braid each section up. And when I had a question about this style, I'm wondering how well this would do, like if I wanted her to go swimming or something, if I, if, if she got it wet, would it be okay? Or would the shed hairs mat up with the thread and be a problem when it's time to take it down? Um, I really like it. I think it would work even better as a protective style if, if I, if I, pinned it up some kind of way but she likes to wear her hair down so I'm also wondering how protective is it if I keep the braid the braids down so I think it'll be interesting to come back in a couple of weeks when we're ready to do her hair over and see how it all went but thanks again girls love your curls for posting and sharing how you do your African threading <laughs>